Hey, how's it going guys? It's Noah back with Grandma's Tech and I made a couple videos about my OnePlus 3. I made my review video about it and I made the video when 7.0 came to it. But one thing I didn't really go in depth in in either of those videos is the customization that you can have with this phone. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. If you have a Pixel or a Galaxy S7 or any other phone and you see someone else with your same phone, they're going to have the same software. It's going to look exactly the same. But with this OnePlus 3, you can meet someone else with a OnePlus 3 and your software can look completely different because of the customization that you can have. So right now I have my phone settings and my appearance as stock Android looks on a Pixel or a Nexus. But now I'm going to go through and customize everything that I can and it'll look really different. So the first thing you can customize on your OnePlus 3 is the quick settings. And I might have gone over this a little bit, but basically if you go in, you can change where things are and where th how things are organized. And most importantly, you can change what shows up here on your top five. So right now I have like Wi-Fi and cellular, and some other stuff. But if I wanted NFC up there, I could put that up there. And there, then I got NFC up there, quick toggle, oops, quick toggle for NFC. So that's that with the quick settings. So now if you go into settings, you're able to change the theme. So if I go to display, then I go to theme. There's a light, there's a light mode, which kind of makes it, oh, it makes all the dark, previously stockish dark, it makes it white. So that's, it's a little too bright for me. So I'm going to go with the dark. So now with the dark theme, you get, you get parts in settings and in the OnePlus launcher that are pitch black. And what's good about the pitch black is that everything on the screen here that's black, the pixels aren't being lit at all. And that's because of the AMOLED screen. So that actually helps save battery when some of the pixels aren't being lit. And in this dark mode, you can also go back to the display settings and you can change the accent color too. So I'm going to make it green for this example. Click OK. It'll change the theme. And now you see everything where it used to be blue it's now green and that's evident up here too you see the quick settings are green everything here is green so i'm not a big fan of the green so i'm going to change it back to blue and another thing you can do in android 7.0 is adjust the display size so that's pretty neat so if you're someone who can't really see that well you can put your display size all the way up to large so you can see your text and apps and everything nice and big but for me, I actually like to have it in the small. And that, that, that cha it changes a lot. It'll change the way your apps look on the screen. See, all my apps are messed up right now. But it's good if for showing more information on the screen with less scrolls. And I kind of like it. It looks a little more clean and less cluttered. And you also have a settings called gestures in Oxygen OS. So if you turn some of these on, then from the locks from when your phone is off, if you double tap the screen, you can turn it on. Double tap again to turn it off. So that's good if your phone's laying on a desk and you don't want to reach for the power button. Just a quick double tap will turn it on. Then we have the O to open a camera. So that's quick, but you can also use the double tap on the power button to open the camera. And then you get the V to turn on the flashlight. So that's quick and easy access to the flashlight. I actually kind of like that one. And another setting that's cool, not only in Oxygen OS, but it's available with any other Android phone, is the ability to change the theme on your Gboard or Google Keyboard. So there's all kinds of themes you can do. You can do a red, green, purple, or you can even upload your own image to be the image of your keyboard. And you can also choose if you want the keyboard, or I don't want that. But I actually like the dark theme, or this dark theme right here, the pure black theme. I think it looks really well. And I think it looks pretty good. Here, you can see it here. You get the blue gesture when you're swipe typing. And it looks pretty nice. I like it. And the last setting that's really special with the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T and any other OnePlus phone from the past is the ability to change between on-screen and off-screen buttons. So right now you can see I have off-screen buttons. So I'm using the capacitive buttons. But you can also enable the on-screen buttons to show up on screen like a Nexus or a Pixel or other phones and then the buttons will be on the screen now so you're multitasking your back your home button but you can still use the fingerprint reader to unlock your phone so that's cool i actually like the on-screen buttons just to switch it up a little bit you know so that is the majority and everything you can do with customization on your oneplus 3 with oxygen os so this is just my example and what i like 
but you can choose your own preference and maybe go do pink accent and a larger display size, but it's up to you. I figured I'd let you guys know since it's a pretty cool and unique feature for the OnePlus phones. So that is it for today guys and I'll see you guys later.